Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture we're going to read today is Psalm chapter 23. I would read um, the whole thing. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning, as every morning, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, thanking you for yet another day of life that you have preserved for us. We thank you that we are still capable to draw on your grace and your mercies that you have given us dear lord in that you have looked upon us as your creation and you have loved us and you have given us that maximum permissible time to forsake those things that you hate and to pick up and cleave onto those things that you love and dear lord we pray that we do not we are not um slack in doing so we pray that we are zealous, attentive, watchful, alert, and um, doing so very keenly, dear Lord, and that we may scour, not even scour, yeah, we may scour our lives, that we can use your word and be led by your spirit. We may scourge and purge off all that is yet clinging to us those things that um you do not like the things that you hate and as always dear lord we just want to pray that when we do so we are doing so in love not just for not just abiding in the love that you have given us but also showing love dear lord and um we know that this is something that is lacking in the world and we know that true love is not understood and when it is shown sometime it is it is looked or frowned upon but nevertheless this is my favorite word <laughs> just I, I pray dear lord just let us continue in your love showing it just like you done dear lord you said it bears all things believe all things hope all things and endures all things so let the love of christ which you have shown us dwell in us all the days of our lives that we may show your light your life and your love to all mankind and in doing so dear lord yes we're going to go through persecution as i said we're going to go through hatred people are going to turn against us for those who truly love you and the world is not going to be for those who love you and whilst we endure these tests and trials we pray that we are not moved at all but that we stand firm as we ask each and every day on you, dear Lord, the rock, the sure rock that our feet are planted and that we grow in the fruits of the spirit, bringing it forth in its abundance. Even some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold and some thirtyfold according to the will of God. And as always, we want to develop our children, growing them up in the knowledge of who you are. So when they're of age, they shall never neglect or reject you. So just pray that you keep us faithful in all things and in faithful keep us in your love and i pray as always that you edify us by your word lead us by your holy spirit to the glory of god our heavenly father in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ we pray amen all right so psalm 23 says a psalm of david the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparedest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. This morning I was just, you know, just wake up and... You know, wash your face and um, them something there. 
And this the psalm just I just I just start come out of me this this psalm. Um and yeah, I just thought yeah, it's a good psalm. Yes, it's one of them that we learn from youth, but it's a good it's a very good psalm. It's so short and spicy. And um it is so true also. If we are actually the followers of Jesus Christ, as he said, he is the good shepherd, and the good shepherd take care of his sheep. He goes before them, he protects them, right? He leads them, as he said, in the path of righteousness um, for his name's sake. Because if the if the if you imagine like you have a shepherd and all them sheep them get eat, eaten by wolves and um get drop off a cliff and um get stolen or you know those bad things happening to the sheep then you gotta kind of look for the shepherd and like oh, i want to go on here what's going on <laughs> i might need another shepherd to look after the sheep but as jesus said he's a good shepherd he, he always going to be the one that is going to protect the, the sheep and we know um david could relate to this relationship with God with us right because he himself was a shepherd boy right so he knows what it is to be a good shepherd and he can look at himself and say you know what the Lord is my shepherd right because when he was writing it he was writing it just like it was obviously it was metaphoric but um he could he had a first hand account of what a good shepherd was right and as the scripture says, he was a man after God's own heart. And why is that? Because he learned, he had a heart of understanding. He knew how to relate to God because God was in him through his spirit and he was leading and instructing him throughout his life. Right? And he could appreciate this. And this is what we want for our lives, to be honest. And as I said, these things just, it's poetic. But as I said, it's so deep and meaningful even today. You can read this and say this one million times and it's still. Because even when we um, read verse 3 there, He restoreth my soul and he, he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. That just, again, read it one million times. But this morning it just hit home again, you know. Because without God, trust me, your soul would be in despair, right? Especially when it's cast down because of the, the things that happen to you in this life. We know that our soul in us can, our inner man can lose strength when we uh, face those tests and trials of life, right? But um, as the scripture says in Isaiah, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, walk and not faint. And um, as I said, he restores this, he's, but to be honest, there there is a process in doing it. Obviously, to restore a thing, it has to be it start, has to be um, exhausted in a, in a sense, right? If you're going to be so, that's why again the scripture said, don't don't frown upon the chastisement of the Lord, don't despise it, right? Because it's there for a reason. And even if we look at the example of Christ when he um went through the wilderness being tempted by of the devil like 40 days and 40 nights and the devil did all of those temptation upon him right when he the temptation had finished it angels had to come and minister to christ right right so you need he gives us example like god would restore us right he would edify us right um elijah same way when he ran away from from the um from the presence of Jezebel, and we saw where even him was in despair, his soul was falling down. He wanted God to take his life, right? But nevertheless, he didn't do it, and God allowed him to be nourished up again. The angel gave him that um food, and in the strength of the food, he was able to go forty days again in that strength. Right, so I say it's a good little psalm here just to remember and just to read and just to meditate upon. As I said this morning it just just like just come out. It was all of it, like the latter I think the, the last part of it, right? We just start to say it. So I'll just start to read it this morning. Um as always, 
you can drop something in the comment section or you can send it in privately to the word at eachreach1.org and as much as the Lord has led me, taught me and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day everyone and God's willing we'll catch up again tomorrow.